Hey guys, this is uh, Scott Norton from Crystal Water Fishing. It is the 1st of October and the water levels are low. As far as I can tell, the, the weather is mild. It seems like it's gonna be a pretty decent day and we're expecting a little bit of rain probably later this afternoon. So we'll see how that affects things. But I'm hoping for a great trip and uh, come along for the ride. Not as active today, but I did scrounge this one up. I don't know, hopefully, things will turn. We don't have any wind right now, so uh, I did see them chasing some of these shed out here. So, put on a little Damiki rig. Little dirty jig, quarter ounce, with a 90 degree tie on it. Okay, 
and all you need is like a little fluke on the back so it did pretty good let's see if we can uh, get a pattern going Got a big one. <laughs> yeah, that's a fatty. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. in my hands either. Oh. Yeah, check that one out. Big old fatty. Come here. Oh, she's pissed off. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. about as long as my leg. Golly, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Anyways, I got that off the hover jet. That is a, it's a bone. So the cool thing about this bait is, you can take these props out and uh, use it as a prop bait if you like, or snap these there and you can walk it. I'd like to get this fish back in before it gets too hot. <laughs> I had a giant bird crap on my cover. Hell oh, yeah. Man, that's a light boat. Yeah, dude. Let me uh, let me grab it real quick. Yep. Yeah. Would you get a bass? Yeah. You, you ever catch any walleye? Oh yeah, I yeah. catch big. Yeah, you catch big ones. That's what I keep trying to fish for, but yeah, you, this time like, of year you got to go down deep for them. Yeah, like how deep are you thinking? Real deep. Like, like 100? Feet. What's that? 60. 60. Yeah, I've been trying to bottom bouncing bit. You know, like the bottom bouncer weight. Yeah. The little jig. Up in Canada, I hit them all the time. Oh but, yeah. Those, are you talking about those little blade baits? It's like an L-shaped. Yeah. Uh, weight. 
It's, it, I guess the little pointed end bounces off the bottom. Yeah. Dang, this thing's mad. <laughs> hey, Maverick, check out this fish. Yeah. Whoa. Wow, that's a good one, my friend. Let me, get, let me get a little closer. You got it. You want just your upper body? You want the your full body in it? What do you prefer? Just the upper. Just the upper. Yeah, just uh, nice and get close. The, get the frame. Oh, oh no! I will. Oh. I got it on film. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As you could see, we didn't catch very many fish, but what we caught were quality. I uh, had a feeling if I had a little bit more time, we could have got into more numbers, but uh, there was a gigantic storm that showed up, and I had to get out of there. But, uh, yeah, uh, it was not a bad day. Um, uh, definitely no skunk. Uh, the ones I got were fantastic. Um, they're still chasing shad. Uh, it looks like they've made a uh, – they're, they're in there, like, going into their fall transition. Uh, you know, as soon as we start getting these cold nights um, – Usually that's when they start just breaking from their summer habits and uh, they start going to their uh, <clears throat> places where they go in the fall and start feeding up for winter. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, today I was just, you know, power fishing. I wasn't using any worms. That was one reason why I didn't want to break that kind of stuff out because, man, I needed to cover water and you just can't do that with a uh, finesse you know, uh, worms and such. Now there are some finesse, uh, lures out there that you can cover water with, but, uh, I didn't have that kind of setup with me, but as you saw, these fish were still fat and feeding up. So, uh, they really wanted something to eat. You just had to find them, you know? So, uh, maybe next time, uh, we'll have us a little better idea of where these fish are going and where they're at. And, uh, maybe be able to target a little bit more numbers and quality there for you. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you on the next one.